We paid a small price to come to this country, but we have all these incredible things, and that price is people won't always understand you. You know, you will be misunderstood, but you can't be a victim. You have to just come from a higher place. My family moved from Somalia due to the Civil War. I was born in a refugee camp in Kenya called Kakuma, and I moved to America when I was seven. When I was, I think I was like 11, 12, my family went and took the oath. It was the day that we had become citizens of the United States of America. It was a room full of immigrants and refugees from all over the world. For my family, it meant that we no longer had to run. We no longer had to worry about leaving a country behind or being rejected or not being accepted. It meant that today we get to call ourselves a citizen. That's my mama, my mom. You know, if people just saw what it was like to be in that room, they'd understand why people are coming here. That has the power of changing the conversation. We're not the enemy, we're not trying to fight, we're not trying to replace, we're just trying to be a part. I remember the camp, even though we were different, we were still African, so we all had like the same, similar skin tone, similar like features, so when I came to this country, one of my classmates had this platinum blonde hair, and I just couldn't figure out how the blonde hair just grew from her scalp, and I went home and I talked to my mom and I said, my classmate eats a ton of bananas. That is how she managed to have blonde hair. So my mom always reminds me that story. It's no different than when your classmate now is saying, why does she wear a hijab? Maybe she has no hair. Educate your classmate why you're wearing the hijab because she just might not know. This was my first Vogue cover. And then this, of course, is my first ever photo shoot. I was the first to wear a hijab and a burkini at the Miss Minnesota USA pageant. It was hard when I did it, but it makes it easier for the next generation of women. A nine-year-old made this for me. So it says, Burkini, Minnesota, beauty. It just makes me want to be a good role model. I didn't forget where I came from. I embrace it, and I want people to not have the stigma associated with being an immigrant or being a refugee. I want them to just be.